What is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a phenomenal resource that you can use to become very, very good on the defensive side of the ball in Madden. This is gonna work for years on. It's not just gonna be something that works in Madden 21, but it's gonna work in Madden 22. It's gonna work in Madden 23 and really into infinity. This is a great resource for you in terms of defense. And it really is designed to take everything that I use to create a defensive scheme and put it into one package and so that you can understand the concept behind the actual defense. So uh, what that is, is we're going to basically un unpack every adjustment on the game and how to use it and what it works to stop. So in this video, we're going to be discussing the seam flat zone, what I believe to be one of the glitchiest zones in the game. And we're going to be talking about how um, and why the 335 wide has been so good this year. So uh, the first thing is we're going to do is we're going to set our zone drops to 10. And we're going to get into this in just a second. But real quick, back to this resource for you. So if you've ever wanted to know, like, what does a vertical hook do? What does a hook curl do? What does a QB spy do? What does cross man do? What does an outside quarter cover? We cover that. We unpack these zones in detail. So it's, it's basically an in-depth defensive guide that covers zone adjustments, man adjustments, and blitzing concepts. It's meant to be conceptual. It's meant to teach beyond just a formation. It's meant to give you tools that you can use going into Madden 22. We're in the Madden 22 preseason right now. I don't know if you know that or not. We are in the Madden 22 preseason. We have three weeks basically before Madden 22 comes out. And this is the best resource that you can be using right now to begin understanding the, the level above the game. Not just the adjustment, but why the adjustment. And so then what's going to happen is as you understand these things, you're then going to be able to counter what your opponent is doing a lot easier. So that's what it's meant to be. It's a resource that is going to update uh, consistently until I finish it. So we, we have kind of got a, a, a baseline launch and I'm continuing to work that things out in this. We've covered most of the zones in the game at this point as well as some cross mats and things like that and kind of explained what that means. But we're also adding things as routes, at, we're, we're trying to kind of update this as we go through different systems and defenses because we're trying to get you to teach you how to fish as opposed to just fish for you. We want you to understand, this is how I can go about stopping this kind of route. Is it an in-breaking route? Is it an out-breaking route? Is it breaking out at 10 or 15 or five yards? Those are all questions you have to ask. And as you ask those questions, you're gonna uncover the right adjustment for the right offense, which is gonna to lead to you getting more stops and being more successful as a defensive player. So this is really the foundation for everything that I'm gonna be doing in Madden 22. Um, and really beyond that, this is meant to be a resource. I've put a ton of lab work into Madden 21, really trying to understand everything. I've learned from every top level player that you can possibly imagine about adjustments and asked a lot of questions. And this is kind of the culmination of it. And so it's my encyclopedia to defense. It's my one-stop shop for you. So that being said, we're gonna jump into a preview and kind of break down a seam flat adjustment. And uh, we're going to talk about what it stops, what it doesn't stop. And that way you can be prepared to really use it at a high level. We're going to talk about some of the greatness of it, some of the problems with it as well. So I'm excited to jump into this. And real quick, if you want to get this encyclopedia concept guide to defense, it's down in the description for just 15 bucks. It's a one-time fee. It's going to continue to update until it's completely finished which I don't know that it will ever be completely finished. There's always gonna be new stuff being put into this guide. It's meant to be an encyclopedia for the defensive side of the ball. It's not meant to be an ebook. It's not meant to be a, here's how to run the 335 wide. It's meant to say, if you wanna run big nickel over G, here's a couple of principles to do it. If you wanna run goal line, here's a couple principles. If you wanna run three, four bear, here's a couple, here's how the zones work. That's what it's meant to do. And so I hope you're excited about it as I am. It's a really, really good resource. It's the first thing I would ever recommend to anybody to get if they were going to pay for a product in Madden because it really unpacks how everything actually works so that you now understand, okay, 
this zone does this, or this adjustment does this, or me blitzing three off this edge does this, that's what we're going for. So I hope you're excited. I'm pumped for it. And let's get into this seam flat tip. So this is why seam flats are so good. So um, Mike Blitz 3, you're going to notice here, I'm just going to grab a uh, cover 3, and I'm going to come out of Mike Blitz 3. So when I show my play art, you see that it, these purple zones out here say seam flats, right? See that seam flat and seam flat, okay? If I go to cover 3 buzz, you see here it says curl flat. Curl flat over there and curl flat over there. That means that they're different zones. That means their zone logic is different. Their, their zone logic, they're, they're playing seam flat zone logic, right? Or they're playing curl flat zone logic. That's what's happening. So as a general um, definition of what a seam flat does, when it's in, when you, when you have zone drops on, zones work differently than when you don't, okay? So when you have zone drops on, a seam flat plays inside to outside to 10 yards or to wherever the zone drop is. So for example, if I run a slant, let me just show you, go back to seam flat here. Let's say I run a slant and I, in combination with a flat, okay? You would expect that a, a flat zone, because based on this, that at the snap of the ball, this guy is just going to do this right here. That's what you would expect. What you'll find is because it's a seam flat, it's playing seam flat logic, seam too flat, seam too flat. It's going to actually do more, something more like this. It's going to go here and then kind of fade into here. So it's looking for work here and then it kind of fades over here. And you'll see why this is really good right here. So um, let me just move him back to where he was. Watch the slant. Snap the ball and oh, I make sure my zone drops are on. I think I might have reset the play. Let me, um, oh, I did reset the play, that's why. So let me, because if you reset the play, it messes with your zone drop. So now watch this, so flat and slant, okay? Watch, see that right there, see where he's at? And he picks it off, look at that. So if I'm snap, throw slant, seam flat takes it away. Let me show you, let me show you what it looks like here in uh, replay, maybe. So here's what it looks like in replay. So watch what he does. Watch his movement. He goes back and he really sits well. And then watch on the end break. Most people think at this point, and I do too as a passer, this is hard. I think that he is gonna continue to drop out here because that's why I put the flat out there. But watch what he does. He comes with it. He carries it into a grid. He carries it into a grid, okay? And what I mean by a grid is that he has a window of, of area that he is responsible for. And that window of area, especially on this play and on this concept, if you take a look at the, uh, if you take a look at the adjustment, watch the white, he's coming in and then he'll carry into this area. So this is why it's so good when you put a vertical hook with a seam flat, because there's no window. Like if I were to throw something like this, Watch this dig. See how they carry it and they come down and they play it. They didn't get it, but they, they're they in the area of the route. That's why it's so good. Now, what is open? Okay. This is something I love to do. Talk about what is open. So you understand this is what you're giving up. This is what's weak. Okay. So seam flat adjustment, slant, flat. Watch Watch real quick here. If I wait for a second, you see it carries that seam flat in, and now I can throw a flat for seven to eight yards. Okay, that's what's open. That's the available option to the opponent. But what I want you to really hit on, or I want you to really understand here, is that that is what's open, but that's all that's open, because he will go out there and play it. So if you want to stop a flat, you might not be able to use a seam flat. This is why the air truck is so popular. Okay, so if you get a look like this, uh, I want you to watch now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna put the running back on a table route. The seam flat will carry the vertical up to 10 yards. So he's gonna carry this in route up the seam. Watch him carry the in route. Carries the in route, and now I can throw right in there with my, with my little route. But what this route zone is really good for is it's really good for making your opponent have to take the underneath. It's also 
the number one zone to stop a curl route. So uh, for example, let's say that you see this, you've probably all seen this at some point in Madden, and that is the curl flat concepts probably giving you some struggles. Um, watch this curl or this uh, purple. It takes the curl away. It takes the curl away. So one of my favorite defenses in spread, if I'm defending spread, this is one of my favorite ways to use this, is all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two linebackers that are blitzing and man them up on the inside slots, and then I'm just going to use them right with my guy here. Why would I do something like that? Because the curl flat is now dead. This kills curl flat. Look, I'm throwing curl flat. I throw a pick on the wide side. Wide side to short side, they do work a little bit differently. Um, to the wide side of the field, you're going to get more of a traditional drift, meaning he's going to uh, – what I mean by that is if you take a look here, if I run the – whoops. If I run the same concept to the outside that I ran to the inside here, so let's say I just do that, okay? But now I'm going to run the wide side of the field. You're going to see – watch the seam flat, and that's the linebacker with the star underneath him. We'll just watch where he goes. See how he drifts, and then watch, he's going to, see how he carries right there? See that? See that little movement? He carries the slant. Even though he's drifting out, looking like he's going to the flat, he then jumps back on slants. It's a really glitchy zone. It confuses a lot of people. Um, let me give you another example. Um, the next example that I want to go over for seam flats, it does this on all in-breaking patterns, uh, which is, makes it really, really good for defending post routes. So if you have a post route that they're running, uh, something like this maybe, like a, a skinny post, watch the, the safety on the right side watch what he does he's out and then look where he comes see how he kind of squats down inside on this thing that's what a seam flat does it forces you to have to throw it to the outside um, it does not give up those slants those posts those in routes um, it's really really good for plays like um, gun bunch flood because the in route that is so good not going to be able to beat that so that's why I love I love these uh, these seam flats. I've spent a lot of time learning uh, how they work. Another way that they uh, are really good is for something like this concept. So this is like a PA counter go type thing. So if you, you you've probably seen me at some point recommend running this. This is basically PA counter go. So I've got you know I've got zones on the right for the crosser. I don't want you to worry about the crosser, but I want you to watch this ten yard dig. This 10-yard dig is not an option against these seam flats combined with a vertical hook. It really does help you a lot in defending things like curls, things like deep in routes, slant routes. Those are what seam flats are really, really good for. Now let's spend a few minutes talking about uh, seam flats as it pertains to match defense uh, and how it works. So basically here's how it works in a nutshell. Um, essentially, a seam flat is going to match play match defense if it's not set to a zone drop as long as they are in two by two operative wording as long as they are in two by two what i mean by two by two and i'm gonna explain it is this um it's like something like this spread so if i go um if i go if i motion the back out let's say i motion him over here i'm still in two by two even if i motion him out here i'm still technically in two by two because i'm in spread Okay, um, the seam flats are going to basically, basically the way it's really going to practically work out, they're going to match the slot receivers. That's practically how it's going to work. Um, you might know, like in bunch, you'll get, like if this was bunch, just imagine with me that this is bunch, um, this guy would be the motion over. So if they motion over out of bunch, um, that's where he goes. Might be able to show it to you here. So let me see if I can get this guy to go. Yeah, so here you go. So you got trips on one side, and then you've got this on the other side. So at this point, this is where seam flats don't match. They just drop into a zone, okay, because it's trips. But if you go two by two, watch. He moves over. Now these two seam flats are going to are gonna match, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So let's just put uh, four curls on the field. And I want you to watch what a seam flat zone does. Um, so all I'm going to do is just – I'm just going to run it as is. But just watch the seam flat. See how they match the curl? and they take it away. Why this is so good, it's really, really good for spread. Um, like really, really good because um, one of the most popular tactics from gun spread is I'm just gonna throw vertical. I'm gonna throw X up the seam. That's what their, that's what their strategy is. Watch the seam flat, just match onto him and take, the, take that route away. It's a catch, tackle, or a pick every time. Okay, so you, 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 really, you really take away the seams. Where they're vulnerable, okay, 
where they're vulnerable is in something like this, where this drag, because he's going under, he's not going to get matched, and now he can get open. This is where shallow cross becomes a really effective concept. Now, a, a, a vertical route. A vertical route is something like a slant. You'll see here, um, the slant seat. Now, he did match him, but he matched him really late. They don't handle those very well. In match coverage, they don't handle slants very well. That's why I like to put, um, that's why if I was running this, I really do like to have, um, you know, some coverage, maybe just vertical hooks, uh, something simple so that I can, you know, defend these underneath routes like crossers and drags and stuff. Um, but like, let's talk about a corner route, for example. Watch this corner route. He's going to match the corner route. It's really you know, right there they were able to complete it. Part of it's because the Godwin's got Slotomatic on me. But typically the corner route's not going to be a great read on cover three seam flats. These outside thirds and these seam flats are going to work really well together to take this away. So seam flats are really good in match um, coverage, in my opinion. You just have to understand they're going to match. Okay? So what you'll get is you'll get a lot of this. This is, this is like cookie cutter way to beat a seam flat. Verticals with a backside slant. See how they run them off, and then that's open. Okay. So what you can do to, to counter that is, if you're a user, you see that you can go get that, or you can just drop somebody in coverage on that side to help if they vacate that area out of two by two spread. Okay. So that's that's a little bit about seam flats. Um, remember, if they go trip. So what I mean by that. So like if I motion, if I motion. Um, God went over on a slant and I streak these two. This is not going to play match anymore. Now it's going to play drops. And you see here, they do a decent job. I still was able to complete that slant. Now, the what I like though is their drop is not a curl flat drop. When they play drop zone, it's basically like a better version of the 10 yard. Um, it's a better version of the 10 yard seam flat. So you get something like this. Now watch X. Watch, see how it drops with him inside. If I try to throw that inside pass lead, that's a pick. Seam flats are really good at protecting that cover three aspect of a Mike Blitz three Mabel. And these are zones that are often available. You find them in cover three match, cover three buzz match. You also find them in almost every cover three zone blitz three deep three under zone blitz like ss blitz three or mike blitz three or lb cross three or cross three fire those are all my those are all those kind of concepts that's how you get the seam flat you can also hot route them um as well but that's pretty much the seam flat and how it works um, for the most part we have a little we have a little bit more in-depth material in our guide but i would just encourage you if you really want to get better on the defensive side of the ball this is the guide for you it is a culmination of years of studying this game, playing this game, and learning from the people that are best at the game, understanding what every zone does, why it does what it does, how you can manipulate that if you're an offensive guy, or how you can leverage that if for your, to make your defense a little bit better against certain things that people are going to do. So that's what we're offering you. I would encourage you to get it. We're going to continually update this and, and try to give you the most up-to-date material. We've got great resources for you if you want to get better on defense. This is an incredible, incredible resource. We're really diving deep and breaking down exactly an encyclopedia for defense. What every zone does, what blitzes work, or like not just what blitzes work, but what blitzing means, what it, what it actually is, how to, how to craft them. And then we've also gone over, um, you know, different types of man-to-man -man coverages and how man coverage works with shading, um, shaded, shaded coverage inside, outside, underneath, over top. All of that is in here, okay? So this is your best chance in my opinion, to spend the next three weeks preparing for Madden 22 by mastering some of the principles that we talk about in this guide. It's what I'm going to be doing. I'm spending a lot of time practicing this stuff, learning this stuff, and really preparing for next season um, because next season is here. We're in preseason right now, and if you're not getting ready for Madden 22, you're going to get a slow start to the season. This is a great way to get ahead of the competition. It's just 15 bucks one time, and this is going to be a great resource over your entire Madden career. For 15 bucks, I guarantee you I will make you a better defensive player with this product. Thanks for your time, and if you want to get the defensive guide, it is down in the description.